Hi folks, welcome back. We're here in front of in front of Allegiant Stadium, home of the Las Vegas Raiders, located just to the left. I'm sorry, just to the west of Mandalay Bay. You just have to take uh, Hacienda and walk over in order to get to it. They're having some sort of function here today in this June Saturday afternoon. Michelob Ultra Arena over there across the street at uh, Mandalay Bay. They hold uh, preseason games for the Lakers over there. Lakers and the Clippers, I believe, in the NBA. And this is the home of the Las Vegas Raiders. This is the north end, which features the, the torch with the eternal flame burning for the original owner, Al Davis. See more of the marquee there on the side of the building. Raider Image, the official team store. So right now, we are at the very south end of the strip, Mandalay Bay, but we are going to cross the bridge here over Interstate 15, which is what a lot of folks do on game day, and go back to their hotels. Adelano, Mandalay Bay, you have Luxor on the left there, the Egyptian Pyramid. We are on Hacienda Boulevard right now. This walkway overhead that we're about to go under, it uh, traverses in between Luxor and Mandalay Bay. Contains shopping and little bars and stuff, so that way you don't even realize you're in there. That you're passing from one property into another. And there's the tram that goes between the three of them. Uh, the three of them being Mandalay Bay, Luxor, and Excalibur. Which are all MGM owned properties. Or at least MGM run. They've been doing some selling of casinos here lately. This is Las Vegas Boulevard. And we're gonna travel north here. So on this side of the 15, it's known as Mandalay Bay Road, but on the other side, it's known as Hacienda. And then you can see some of the work out here in front of Luxor that they have with the pyramid, Excalibur. Here at the northwest corner of the airport here in Las Vegas, you see the big fuel tanks there for the uh, jetliners. And then up on our right is the site of what soon could be no more, the Tropicana, here in Las Vegas. If the Oakland A's have their way, and it uh, looks like they might with the state government, and they might get funding to uh, build a stadium right there on top of that spot, demolish the Tropicana and build a stadium right on top of it. A lot of folks are upset about that, traditionalists and purists, things like that. There's the Excalibur, and then... Luxor and the Delano and then up on the left you have New York, New York which features a mini gaggle of buildings prominently displayed in New York City if you like what you see please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos we really enjoy it and uh, we'd like to get up to a, over at least a thousand subscribers so that way YouTube will uh, pay us to make these videos and put them up for you. And we'd really love to do that for you. So we'd like to uh, be able to send our son to school and pay, pay for his tuition. So really hopeful that we can do that. And there's the giant lion out in front of MGM Grand. And then there is the Statue of Liberty. Surprised that she's not dressed in a Vegas Knights jersey, especially considering they're, they're in the Stanley Cup Finals this year. Last time they went to the Stanley Cup Finals, they adorned her with a uh, Vegas Knights jersey. Hakkasan is a nightclub that's located here inside of MGM Grand.
pedestrian walkways keep the tra keep pedestrians from having to cross these busy streets when you go in between these huge casinos there's a miniature Brooklyn Bridge if you will over there in front of New York New York and then the MGM I'm sorry the uh, Park MGM there Hard Rock Cafe right there Aria, Waldorf Astoria. Many of these casinos you have to pay to park at now. Part of the incredible greed that's uh, taken hold here with the corporations that own these hotels and casinos. On the left is the fashion, I'm sorry, Crystal Shops, high-end uh, shopping. There you can see it. And that's the beer towers there with the aria pointing out behind them and then you've got the cosmopolitan over there behind the shops and another building belonging to the cosmopolitan there on the right here you have planet hollywood and um miracle mile shops bubba gump shrimp company Cantina. Harmon Avenue East here. Marquee nightclub and day club here attached to Cosmopolitan. Beer Towers. They're getting this road ready. They've been paving it to get it ready for the F1 Formula One racing that's uh, supposed to come here in uh, November. And uh, they're going to be um, using the strip. A lot of the hotels and casinos here will be um, putting up huge grandstands to capitalize and sell tickets in order to uh, watch the Formula One race from out in front of their properties. On the left there, up ahead, you have the Bellagio with its world famous fountains, dancing fountain show. And on the right, just past Planet Hollywood, you have Paris Hotel and Casino with the miniature version. I think it's half the size of the uh, actual Eiffel Tower in uh, Paris. And we're being blocked by all of these vehicles attempting to go east on Harmon. If you, uh, if you come to Las Vegas, you don't really need a car to be here. I know that there's uh, a lot of people that like to Uber and then Take, their, take Uber from the airport straight to the hotel that they're staying at. But unless you're traveling somewhere, everything you need is right here on the Strip and then Fremont Street. I've got a very overzealous cab over here on my right who is urging me to let him pass you, pass me. There is the Eiffel Tower as I get cut off. And the big balloon out in, side, out in front of Paris. And then there is the Bellagio. Looks like folks are gathered out in front for another potential show here momentarily. 
Eiffel Tower Restaurant. Beer Park. And with the with the casinos charging for parking now, there go the fountains. I don't know how much of that you can make out. There are the dancing fountains out in front of the Bellagio. The recently renamed Horseshoe was the Bally's, and now they've renamed it Horseshoe. Dre's Nightclub, and then the Flamingo, the oldest hotel casino here on the Strip, started in 1947, as I was, as I learned from my beautiful wife and Vegas native, my co-pilot here on this magic carpet ride. Yeah. Hmm. Again, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so that we can continue making more of these videos and bringing them to you. This side of the strip I don't think has been paved yet. It's in really bad shape. This is the light at Flamingo Road. All the roads here in Vegas used to be named for the casinos upon which they were located. So Flamingo here for the Flamingo Hotel and Casino. You've got the Cromwell right here just to the south of the Flamingo. Bugsy and Myers. Named after Bugsy Siegel Steakhouse there on the right. And then on the left here you've got Caesar's Palace been here for a long time as well. Omnia nightclub right there attached to it. They're supposed to be tearing down that that uh, rotunda shaped building out in front of Caesars in order to make room for grandstands to accommodate for uh, Formula One viewers. That's supposed to happen sometime before the race in November. Forum shops there at Caesars. Some fun shops in there. There's Harrah's. Here on the right. And you can see Treasure Island immediately in front of us there. Just past that is Resorts World. And then on our right, right up here, is Casino Royale. Attached to a Best Western Plus. Uncertain what the plus means. Over on the left here is the Mirage, where they will be. Uh, building a huge guitar-shaped hotel similar to the one that's located in at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. I'm sorry, in, in the Hollywood, Florida. And this is the Venetian and Palazzo over here on our right. We're going to make a right here. And you can see Fashion Show Mall up there on the left right in front of the Conrad, which is part of Resorts World. The Grand Canal shops here at the Venetian. And they do the gondola rides here. Very beautiful casino. We're going to attempt to self-park here. Nice driving. That's what he was doing. He, the cabbie, was cutting over to Cobol here on the... Uh, east side of this building. This is the entry for self-parking at the Venetian. Security checkpoint up here. what the purpose of that was. As we 
crawl along in here. Some of the parking garages here have little green lights and red lights to indicate open spots. Venetian hasn't done that yet, but the ones that do that typically tend to charge for parking as well, so. Everyone is going right here. I don't know if that's required, and if it's not, then I'll continue going up. Now up to the sixth floor here in the Venetian parking garage. the upper levels because I don't want to sit behind these guys and wait for them to get parking spots while we don't. Saturday afternoon in early June. So we're going to go up one more level. So I don't see a whole lot of hope on this floor. Venetian and Palazzo are two of the few remaining free parking garages here in Las Vegas, hence them being so full. And there's ample parking here, it appears. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to park near the elevators. Definitely living up to that this weekend. Okay, so there's the elevator. Let me see if I can just do. Oh, that's handicapped. I think we're going to encounter more of the same on the floors up, ahead, up above. So, with that, I'd like to say thank you. There's a good shot, well, sort of a good shot of the high roller. High roller. <laughs> Name eluded me there for a minute. Yes. Ferris wheel. At the link. At the link here in Las Vegas that you can take up and uh, get some great views of the city with from. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.